Welcome back. Today is Thursday, which means it is time for another Thrift Store Thursday haul. <laughs> also, it is my eighth day of my 12 days of Christmas countdown. Um, this will be all that I do for videos today be because I did not want to miss Thrift Store Thursday because, of course, it is my favorite day of the week. One more bit of information before we get into today's haul and that is this will be my final thrift store Thursday for the year 2018 after Christmas I'm gonna take that little bit of time between Christmas and New Year's and I'm not gonna do any um, videos during that time and that will mean no thrift store Thursday sorry about that but I want to just take the time with my family who will be home and I just think it's important to take this time of the year to spend with my family. So that is what I'm going to do and concentrate. And then once January 1st rolls around, I will be back on my regular schedule. So, well, maybe not January 1st, <laughs> January 2nd. <laughs> so we shall see how it goes. But anyways, all right, so let's get into today's haul. So this week I went to Goodwill two different times and I found some fun stuff each time. So. The first thing I picked up were some cute, adorable little, I guess you could call them mugs. They're probably espresso cups. There are four of them, but they look like this. Just cute little, little mugs. They were 99 cents each. And I thought they were adorable because you know how much I love my little miniatures. Here they are. So adorable. Not sure how I'm going to use them, but I bought all four of them just so that I could like stack them like this and just add them to like different little displays and such. So I love me some tiny little cups. I think they're so adorable. <laughs> the next thing I picked up was a sweet little dish um, to put by my kitchen sink. I saw this pattern and I just thought it was so pretty. It was $1.99. It's just like a little, oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very well. It's very bright today, but basically it's got some little green greenery and some really delicate looking pink flowers and I just thought it was super duper cute and I love that it's like this little tiny bowl and it's got some nice like ribbing along the side and some fluting and I just thought it was a, such a cute beautiful pattern that I was going to pick up this little bowl because I love the pattern so much but I didn't. I mean they had the whole set there but I didn't need the whole set. But I really like this pattern, so I thought what I would do is grab one of these little bowls and I would use it for by my kitchen sink to hold my little kitchen scrubby like that. So I can enjoy the cute little pattern that it has and it's pretty and it won't. I just thought it was a good idea. So that is why I picked up this cute little bowl that I think is just so adorable. So yeah, I just love that pattern so much. But I do not need another set of plates or, you know, you know me and my dishes. I have way more than I need at the moment. <laughs> so this next thing I found I thought was so cute. I love pictures. And this one was in a cute little short squat size and I just thought it was so adorable. And I loved this yellow stripe on it. I don't know why, but I'm really getting back into yellows. I haven't used yellow in my house in a really long time and it just seems so cheerful and wonderful and so this is like the second yellow thing I think I picked up in the last little bit last month or so so I just thought it was really cool it is from England if I can read it Franciscan England I think there's some numbers of some sort but I just thought it was super cute I think it would look really adorable with some flowers growing it or maybe even like some cat um, cat grass that comes springtime. I think that would look adorable. It's just sitting in my window seal, looking all cheerful and happy. I think that would be perfect. <laughs> Next thing I picked up was a glass pitcher. And this was $3.99 and I just thought it was the coolest looking thing. And it looks like this. I don't, you're not going to be able to see it very well, but it has a really cool handle. I love the handle on it. It's like almost geometric. But what really sold me on it was the pattern. Oh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. It has like these medallions, like daisy medallions all over it. 
Where is it? There's a big one here, and then there's some small ones. And then it's got this band on the bottom and the band on the top. And I just thought it was so cute. So adorable. I don't have very many glass um, pictures. So I thought this was a nice size for some um, cut flowers or that sort of thing. And also just to sit, you know, like on the counter and just to be pretty. So I just like, I like to use a lot of glass in my kitchen. Um in the summer months just because it's sparkly and shiny and I just love it. So I thought this would be a really good addition. And you know, you always need a little little pitcher when you start making up um, lemonade in the summertime. So I just thought that was super duper cute. It does have sort of a haze to it, but I haven't cleaned again and I'm hoping that will go away. If it doesn't, I'll need to do a little bit of research and see if I can get the haze off of it. Um, I think it's just from like being, it looks a little grimy right now. Uh, or it could be just like a haze from being dishwashed too much. I'm not real sure. But I think I can make it work. If not, it'll be a perfect little vase for putting flowers in in the summertime. The next thing I picked up was a basket. Um, this is like a tray basket. And this one was $4.99, which I thought was a great price. It looks like this. It's got a little... It's not maybe about four inches tall and it's nice and big around and I love the nice big chunky handles and then I really love this like bamboo caning that's right along here along the whole top side so I just thought this was a nice looking size basket it would look really nice I think on my living room table with some stuff on it so I just thought this was kind of nice and I love this color of basket like bleached you know basket color so I thought it was perfect it also looked nice hung on the wall I think not that I'm going to do that with it but you know that's just another option for you but I just thought it was really cute and I liked it a lot so I picked it up all right so that takes care of the first trip that the so that takes care of everything that I picked up at the first trip to Goodwill now we can go into what I picked up on my second trip to Goodwill and the first thing I found, the first thing I found was a little grab bag, and it was $2.99, and it had a set, of, a set of four silver bells in it. They're not vintage or anything like that, but I really like the shape of them, and I thought they were super adorable, and they look like this. So adorable. I love, like, the fluting on it, and the little handles even got some detail on it. It sounds really pretty. So I basically picked these up to like maybe use them somehow as place markers at Christmas for um, Christmas dinner when I have the family over for like the kids to use because then they can like ring the bell, you know, for Christmas, the bells are ringing sort of thing. So anyways, I don't know. I just thought they were adorable and I think they will be fun on the table at Christmas and also there's three more of them. They had two bags of them, but I restrained myself because I don't need eight bells. And yeah. And I think even after Christmas, this would look so cute. Just, you know, amongst things for another little accent piece when I'm decorating. So I think that is fun. And of course, I just love, you know, bells that are shaped like this. Like the school bell kind of bells. I just like them. I have a little bit of a collection going on them. I don't know if I've ever showed you that. I'll have to show you that. I will have to add my bell collection to my winter decor. Because I haven't used them in a couple of years. I kind of add them here and there, but I've never like grouped them together as a collection before. So that's something I should do. Alright, so then of course, I always look at the Christmas decoration when, I, when they have it out. And I found this adorable, <laughs> very not so beautiful thing, but I just had to have it. And it came in its original box. I don't know if you can see it in there, but this is what it is, basically. It's like an electric lantern that you can plug in, and it, you know, looks adorable. So I'll take it out of the box. But I just thought that the fact that it was still in the box was super cool, and I love that the box itself is awesome. Oh my, it's even glass. I did not anticipate that. Oh boy. 
All right. I don't know if I can get it out of here. All right, there we go. So the, <laughs> that's funny. I don't know that the glass, I don't know that the topper is original to it, but the bottom looks like this. It's just a plastic gold sort of thing, and it's got this old-fashioned candle on it. Um, the plug doesn't look too scary. I don't know if you can see that or not. But, yeah, I might attempt plugging it in. But, and then it has this on it also. Um, it fits perfectly, but I don't think it's original to it. But anyways, I just had to have this for my tacky Christmas. I have never seen anything like this. And I just thought it was super cool. And I just think the illustrations on this are so cool. It says, unlimited uses in windows, over the fireplace, on the ends of tables, on buffets. <laughs> So yeah, I think it's supposed to have some sort of greenery in the middle here on the actual candle, but that obviously is gone. I don't know if this has any date on it. I don't see a date anywhere. Indoor use only. But anyways, I just thought it was cool. I thought the box was super cool, and I thought it was worth $1.99, so I picked it up. So the next thing I picked up is something that we're planning on using for Christmas. Now, I have not hosted Christmas. I've hosted Christmas once in my life. Normally, I am the Thanksgiving lady. But this year, we decided with the passing of Dad that we were going to switch things up a little bit to possibly make Christmas slightly easier, mostly more easy on Grandma so she doesn't have to host Christmas all by herself. So I have been on the lookout for... Um, like trays and like serving dishes sort of thing because Thanksgiving is different than the way we handle how um, Christmas at Christmas time we like put out trays of like goodies and that kind of stuff but I don't really have any trays I have maybe two trays but anyway so I've been looking for some things that I can add to my um, hostessing repertoire that I can use for multiple seasons it's not really Christmas specific so when I found this for $2.99 I'm like this would be perfect and it is just a basic plate holder but I love the shape of it it's kind of it's got the little scrollies going on over here and then at the ends and it seems nice and sturdy and I can put a plate on the top and on the bottom and what I thought I would use this for was a goodie tray like I can put a plate on the bottom and the top and we can have goodies up and on both layers and it would be sturdy for like kids to get you know treats from because I don't know about you but those like three tiered trays and that sort of thing they always seem so wobbly and unsecure to me and I just don't trust it around kids so I thought this would be perfect and I'm so excited about it let me get a plate and see what it looks like that is going to work out perfectly. Here, I'll show you. See, like that. That will be perfect. Um, I'm not sure if I'll use these plates. I'll probably find some really pretty plates. I think I have a couple Christmas plates, actually, and I'll use that instead. But I figure even if, if it's not Christmas time, I can stack up some of my dish collection and, like, put it on a counter in the kitchen and use it as a display piece, which I think is amazing. So I'm very excited about the possibility of this plate stand. I've never had a plate stand before. Does anyone else use them? I'd be interested to know how many people actually use plate stands because I think they're kind of cool. I've just never had one before. And they're quite handy, I would think. So anyways, that was a fun find. And for $2.99, I thought that was perfect to add to my little collection of, you know, display and hosting items. <laughs> so I have one last thing to share with you today, and I thought this was super cool. Um, it was $3.99, and it is this right here. It is a wall sconce that has a mirror on the back of it, and then it has like this branch design. Can you see that? And then it holds three tea lights. I love sconces. I'm completely obsessed with sconces. I have probably way too many of them in my house, but I love them because they add a little bit of like 
graphicness or graphic shape to your decor. Plus, you can put a candle in there because I love candles. And I really am being drawn lately to the tea light versions because for me, they seem the safest. They don't drip up wax everywhere. Um, they burn out on their own. You don't really have to watch them so much as like a regular pillar candle or something like that. So when I thought, saw this little guy, I thought it was super cool. And I scoured the shelves for a matching one. Because I right away I'm like, oh my goodness, I want to put this in my bedroom next to my, over our bedside tables. But I didn't find one, but that's okay. I can probably find something similar sized to this, you know, eventually. And until then, I will just use this one and something else on the other side. I guess it doesn't necessarily have to match, but I kind of like symmetry in my bedroom. I like things to match, like two tables the same height, two um, lamps the same height, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but I just think this is so cool and I cannot wait to use it. And I think it's going to be so lovely with the mirror back. If you have anything... I just think it's so beautiful. Candles in front of a mirror, I don't know what it is. It just magnifies the beauty of a candle. And I love it so much. So this is just like perfect for me. And it kind of gives me that woodsy feel because of the branches and stuff, which is kind of nice for the winter time. I suppose the summertime too because I go to the cabin a lot. But winter time, I like that winter cabin-y feel. Um, which is what I'm going to try to do in my bedroom this year. So that will be perfect for the winter time. So that's the last thing today. I know. Seems like we went pretty fast through all this stuff. But it was a lot of dishes. I haven't had a lot of dishes in a while. So that was kind of fun for me. <laughs> so that is it for me today. Thank you all so much for stopping by. The dogs have decided that they are going to attack me. I'm being scratched. Hi puppies. Yeah, you guys are so cute. Okay, down please. Mama's working. Okay, down please. Mama's working. Anyway, sorry about that. Oh, I'm getting scratched. What was I saying? I think I was saying that that is it for me today. Seems like I went through that really fast today, but I don't know. It's some fun things. So I was excited. I tend to talk faster when I'm excited. <laughs> But anyways, thank you for stopping by today. I appreciate it. And as always, let me know down in the comments what you have found this past week that has you excited because I really enjoy sharing my finds with you every week and I think it is awesome that you share with me what you have found and I just love that back and forth um, and that connectiveness that we get through shared excitement over thrifting. So let me know what you found and I appreciate it. Just wanted you guys to know that. I also, before I go, I would like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope that you and your families and friends have a fabulous Christmas this year. And I know I am looking forward to spending time with my family. Um, it's just always so wonderful. Even though we see each other quite a bit, it's just something special about Christmas time getting together. So I hope that you enjoy your time. Take the time to enjoy those small moments with your family. And now I'm getting all teary-eyed. <laughs> Anyways, have a Merry Christmas and I will see you in January.